Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a Rod and Staff Union. How are you today? I hope you're doing excellent today. Today, I want to talk to you about the Divine Masculine being the healed healers. And this is a very special time for a lot of people who have been feeling things through the dimensions and also becoming healed themselves. Now, what may not be realized is how much has actually taken place inside, but not only inside, in different places, even in different timelines. And that's where this gets kind of tricky for people because we tend to think of things as very linear, okay? And it's not. We're not really linear people. We live in a place that is affected by linear time, of course. And some of you are getting very astute at recognizing the differences between linear time or what we could call, you know, karmic level time. Although I don't like to use the word karmic because not everything that happens at that level is karmic because it has to do with the sun rising, the sun setting, the seasons, etc. But you do have a sense that things have been healed. <clears throat> so when I talk about the divine masculine is the healed healers, what this means is the masculine, the masculine sides of you, of your union, support the feminine sides. But each of you have both. So I've been saying that for some time. And there's a misconcept between calling your boyfriend or your husband your divine masculine or your twin flame and making a distinction between the higher divine masculine energy and connections. Okay, so I mean, they are one and the same and yet they're still different. Another paradox here on earth. But you each have both. You each have everything to make you wonderfully androgynous. Isn't that wonderful? The true androgyny where you're able to feel the alchemy. And some of you may say, what? What's that? You mean there's a whole nother level to this? Yes, there is. And it's very delightful. Okay, Rome wasn't built in a day though. And neither did you, you know, get here in one day. And you're in a process. So I remind everyone, this is a process. And just like, you know, some of the things that do happen, what you've seen, you know, publicly or you've seen up close and personal, um, it has been less than desirable. There's a lot of people having a lot of tension here, here in the upper areas. And there are reasons for it. And the reason doesn't always mean that your twin is trying to reach out or talk to you. So if you're looking for someone to just blurt out things, get ready for something egoic to come up. And even if it's egoic, let the chips fall where they may because it's still going to continue in the process. Okay, so there's a few things to know about this energy. First of all, because the masculine supports the feminine subtle body connections, but so also does the feminine support the masculine subtle body connections. And you might be saying, huh, what does that mean? Well, this is actually things that you share with each other. I have that information, which I teach people in my classes, in my webinars, and on my recorded material, because it boils down to you feeling good, you feeling healthy, your sense of well-being, your sense of feeling balanced and capable and loved and supported and loved and in love, and on and on and on. You see all the good stuff that you want. And being able to support your physical part of your physical union because the metaphysical union is taking place. Each of you have both. However, are you feeling like you're between two worlds? That's very common right now. Some people are, it's glaringly obvious. You feel like you're between two worlds. You don't know which way to turn. You feel disoriented. You feel as though you're like this. Okay? Whoa. And you're losing your footing, and you just don't know. 
and you're winding up not being able to balance and it's feeling like a tight wire. You feel like you're walking on a tight rope and rather than being able to very gently get yourself from one place to another, it feels more like you're being torn and not in a good place. Okay, so what gives with all of this? Now what's up? Now what's happening? Okay, we have several things coming up. New moon, another retrograde, another coming out of retrograde, an event, another event. I can tell you that October is going to be a doozy for some people. If you've been doing your work, your preparatory work for your brand new connections, it won't be a doozy for you. You may still feel some things. I can guarantee that because I know this because I've been through it. Okay. The other thing that is important to know is that all sense of separation is going to leave you. Okay. There's reasons for that too, which I'm covering in my recent webinar, which I'm running. Now, this webinar is intended to be supportive for you. I'm going to have it twice a week. This is going to be on Tuesday mornings and Sunday mornings. So Tuesday and Sunday. So you have one day, Monday, or you have Sunday, Monday, or deep week gets started. Come and join the support webinar on Twin Flame Love and Abundance. And we're going to talk about value, and we're going to talk about fairness, and we're going to talk about balance. And there's a lot of other things we're going to talk about. How is your footing in the new? Because this isn't always about grounding and it's not about ancient timelines anymore. We're actually in some very new energy. We passed through the lion's gate. Doors have closed. Okay. And some of you are feeling very lost in this. Don't be lost. Don't be lost. I have a depiction that I'm going to show you to try and help explain what it is that you're feeling. But come and get some support. I'm starting at September 11th. It will run till October 15th. It is five weeks and it's going to be $60. So are you between worlds? Are you feeling things having to do with being a hero? Maybe, maybe not. As your twin trying to be a hero for other people, okay? So one of the other things in this energy is you're going to feel surges. Surges, power surges, and drops in energy. That's going to be a part of this time frame here. It might feel very jerky. Very, very jerky kind of energy. And it's going to be very, very confusing. And it gets confusing when things are trying to be dislodged that people won't let go of or haven't been able to let go of. You're going to have some slow and very quick moving currents of energy. So it's a little bit sometimes like being in some water where you have, uh, let's use this guy. He's been in the water. It's been like whitewater rafting and he's been enjoying the rapidity of it. And things are swift and quick moving. Then he gets into a little lull around a rock and he just goes around and around and around. And essentially he's spinning in space. Okay. What's up with this current of energy or worse? It's flat. It's like what they call it, the ocean, a dead calm. But a dead calm isn't always good because sometimes you get stagnant there. You get stuck. And it's also not good to be in a riptide. Whoa. Whoa, he's in a riptide current. He's getting tumbled about like in one of those brand new washing machines. Woo! -hoo. Okay. What's up with that? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, if you've been aware that recently there were some children stuck in a mine and they needed a rescue, okay? And time was running out. And oxygen was running out. And what was happening? Okay. During this time, I was getting the word undermine, undermine, undermine. What is un undermining you? <clears throat> what is undermining you? And furthermore, what is underpinning you? 
So have you ever had anything that's been stuck underwater? And you can have someone who's trying to help. Okay, we'll put this person trying to help. Okay, and yet somebody's pinned here. Okay, they're pinned. And they can't seem to get unstuck to get up and out in the open. Okay, and even though someone's trying to help, there's things that are sticking this person here and they just keep, you know, bumping against this. Okay, you've seen this in water, you've seen it maybe under a dock, there's something there that is, you know, just bobbing but not really making progress. What happens with that? Okay, this is where some people are at. They are stuck under something and the underpinnings have to be removed. Okay, that's the word I get, underpinnings. Underpinnings undermining. This is going to happen sometimes with power surges, drops in energy, inflammations, getting sick, getting ill, and the cracking of the heart again. So some of you have already had the big cracking open of the heart. This is going to be another level of cracking out, out heart, back of the heart, the head, the hips, several places on your body. So we're going to talk about that too. But to lighten this up here, I want to tell you that this actually is not energy where it's really heavy either. It's a little intense, but there's not the same heaviness to it. There are some heavy emotions. Heavy emotions, such as having your hopes dashed, having your faith in people or your faith in something dashed to bits. If it hasn't happened now, you might feel it from a past life. You might not be understanding why things are the way they are. What went wrong? What did you do wrong? Did you do something wrong? Did you do it the wrong way? Hey, Twin Flames, you're doing it wrong. Is there such a thing? Okay, and some people can feel like, I think I did something wrong. Okay, I'm not sure, but I have a sense of it. Is that sense because of actually doing something wrong, or is that sense coming from your old patterns, which you've always been wrong all the time? You self-sabotage things. Okay, what is it? You know, because you could take someone and they could say, gosh, every time I do something, it feels like I get kicked in the gut. It doesn't matter what I do. Like, this goes wrong, that goes wrong. I just have to hold my head down and just keep trying going and I just really don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm a screw up. I Maybe I have a talent for sabotaging things. Some people do have a talent for sabotaging things. Some people don't realize it about themselves. Is this you or is this your twin? Could be. It could be a lot of people. It could even be within organizations that leave uh, maintenance. They defer maintenance on things. It could be with uh, workplaces could be a lot of things, but it boils down to people, okay, people and angelics, and what are they going through, okay? If someone's going through something, how 100% are they going to be, okay? How are any of us ever going to be 100%? We've been known to fail. Your twin might have some character flaws. They may have been known to fail you. However, where is the perfection at? Where is that part of them that you know is absolutely going to be perfect, give you the right answer, say the right thing, lead you in the right direction? It's here at the heart. Okay, so this is why I'm doing this because this energy can be very confusing for people. So if you've never attended one of my webinars, I do, this topic is going to be Twin Flame Love and Abundance. We're going to touch on a few things, like codependency, what it is, what it isn't. How do you get rid of it? What's the most effective, easiest, fastest way to get rid of things that you don't want for your union? Um, this is twice a week, so at the end of your week, you can tune in on Sunday. You can join on Sunday. We'll have, you know... More information, there is a question and answer segment, and there is a meditation that I lead you through. 
And it is a twin flame specific meditation. It's not something abstract. It's not something that is, you know, not going to be of assistance to you. There is a key difference with doing things as a twin flame. You have to include each other. It's inclusive. It's not exclusive. Okay. None of this is exclusive. Okay. It is intended to be inclusive. Come to earth for the all-inclusive way to be in love. All-inclusive vacation here on earth? I don't know about that. Would any of us really call this a vacation? I'm not so sure about that. However, you do get to enjoy a lot of things. A lot of you have had some really fabulous experiences along your journey. How do you know you're on a twin flame journey? Well, first of all, when things in your life start changing, that's one way. You feel an inner urge to become a better person. You don't know where that's coming from. You just want to eat better, do something different, do something for yourself. From this comes your sense of mission. You're on a mission. Well, what is that mission? Okay, how does your twin flame love want to express it itself in the world and be abundant? Okay, so we're going to touch on that as well. Your mission. If you were to write a mission statement, could you write a mission statement? Okay, but the mission or the outward expression happens by unifying yourself. So what people would refer to as union, it's beyond just living together. It's about unification. Unification. And that takes reintegration. That means there's going to be surges and power surges and drops in energy. So you're coming into a time here where you might feel disappointment. You might feel past disappointment. You might feel a sense of bad endings. Okay. And you might say to yourself, which wave of am I in? Uh, did I miss something? Did I do it wrong? How am I, why am I seeing other people? Okay. I'm going to remind you of one other thing. Stick to your own true love story. Because otherwise, if you do not stick to your own true love story, okay, even if this is your twin, okay, how is your twin going to get the underpinnings off and get out from under whatever they're under, okay, and begin to be fresh and new for you, not for other people, you didn't do all this work so that they could go gallivanting about with other people, did you? What? No, you're not going to give up. No. The answer is no, you're not giving up. Please don't give up. Don't give up. You didn't do all this to be dropped on your butt. You actually can't get dropped. You might feel down and low for a little period, but you are not going to be dropped. And you didn't imagine it. That's another thing people are thinking. They're saying, did I imagine this? No. You can't possibly imagine something so fantastical as this is what's been happening to you. Many of you couldn't even write it. You're writing it now as it happens. And it's been happening to your body. That's how you're feeling it. That's how you're able to perceive it. But there's a lot all happening at once. And we're in sort of one of those rushes of the currents of energy that are just rushing and flinging you and you might feel like, you know, you're doing this at times. So I want to let you know that some of you are be literally between two worlds. Some of you are beginning to go into this part of the shift. Some of you did it last year around this time or a little bit later in uh, November of last year. Some of you are coming into this. Some people are going to do it next February. And there's no right or wrong about it. And I'll tell you why. Do you see these? These are little, these are called helicopter seeds. Okay, this is from a silver maple tree. These are from a, a tree, maple tree, not the kind that makes maple syrup. Okay, we call these helicopter seeds because they, they spin as they go down. They do this and they have a little point at the end, and they land in the ground. Now, 
the maple tree sends out about 10,000 of these, okay? And they don't all sprout at the same time. Some of them are sleepers. Some of these little guys that have the DNA of something that can grow to, I don't know, how tall is it? It's probably about 40 feet tall. Okay, and, and yeah, that's an analogy. Out of the size of this grows an oak tree. Yes, we know it. We know it by now. But here's the thing about it also. These things can lie dormant for a while and sprout up when you least expect it. I have pulled up baby trees in October, November, when we're doing the fall cleanup. And they're brand new, brand new sprouted. They didn't sprout in March. They sprouted in October. Okay? So those of you that are ready to give up, don't give up. Okay? Keep going. If you have to slow down, you slow down if you don't know. If you really don't know and you're feeling a bit, you know, disoriented, lost, in pain, in discomfort, come and join. Okay? Because there are things to know about this that I help people with. You have channels that connect you to each other. It's a part of how you circulate the love. Those need to get open. Only you can open them. Someone else isn't going to do it for you. I teach you how to do it for yourself. You need to be able to reciprocate the love back and forth. For a lot of you, it has not been feeling reciprocal for a while, a really long time. And you're saying, am I just supposed to do this by myself? Uh, I'm getting really confused. No, but sit tight for just a little bit longer for what is dormant and has been healed to spring to life. Now, you're a big part of that. That's also what we're going to talk about in here. So don't allow, even though you might feel a sense of disappointment, that's going to be all your past lives when this hasn't been available to you. Yeah, that's the truth. Not all of it has been available to you. And what I mean by that is the possibility of fully reunifying. Okay? You're just in that now. And that is going in waves and stages, okay? It's not a rite of passage to have to have, you know, all the things that you might read about out there. In fact, some of that at some point will be, you know, uh, something that people have a better handle on, okay? Not that you're intended to handle it. It's just going to be something that is necessary. So I have another thing to show you, okay? Here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're in harvest time, okay? Fall is approaching, but as we know with fall, this is sometimes people's favorite season. It's coming up very fast, okay? We're in 2018. We're already, already in the ninth month. It's a nine month here. We also have um, winter approaching after that, okay? So part of this energy is to get your stuff ready. Okay. Get your fall stuff ready. Get yourself ready. With the change of the season goes changes in rhythms of your life, of your eating habits, what you're eating. Okay. So to give you an example, because one of my other webinars would be very helpful for you, it's called Harvest Your Love. But what do we have at the harvest? We have, you know, the later fruits of the harvest. We had the juicy stuff. Okay. We had the fire. We had lots of fires too. Now we're coming into a watery, wet season. Okay, and watery and wet means emotional. This is an emotional time for a lot of people. And yet, they're not as triggered with it. You might have been triggered last year. So if you take something like this, I'm going to show you what, um, I cut another one. Look at that. It's in, it's in the shape of a heart. I don't know which way to hold it. It's in the shape of a heart. It's the little baby growing inside. You know, this is this is the stem and the seeds, and you pop it out, and there was a bonus surprise in there. I'm calling it a heart because to me it looks like the two sides of a heart. The two, the two sides or the two valves of the heart, masculine and feminine connections. Okay. But 
harvesting what you've been gathering in, harvesting in what the divine masculine has not only healed, but delivered, okay? The divine masculine are the deliverers also. They are the purveyors, the conveyors. And this doesn't just mean men. This is masculine. I want to make a distinction that this could be gay, lesbian, hetero, and LB. I, I want to catch everyone here. LGBT. QI, okay, and I don't know what else there is, okay, the I is for intersex, those are people that are born with false genitalia, they have chromosomes that have blended up also, so if she would like to be abundant and in love, and this is actually new energy, and she wants to find her footing with this, okay, and we want her to get back to the beginning. This is another webinar I have. So I have actually three things for you to um, help you with. My Twin Flame Love and Abundance webinar, Back to the Beginning, which is in four parts. This is very helpful if you're a little bit more advanced on the journey and harvest your love. So if you're coming into some things where you need uh, help with some of the uh, comfort health levels, your eyes, ears, nose, throat, some of the other parts of you, okay? I also do readings. I do energy work. I do it over the internet via Zoom or Skype. And I do in-person body work. I started, doing, I started doing this actually by doing body work years ago not really even truly knowing what a twin flame fully was. And, and yet, when I look back, I've had the signs all my life since my childhood, just like a lot of you have. I also want to tell you, there's a lot of people wondering about themselves. What are their origins? What's their purpose? What do the color rays mean? So I have a webinar, which is called The Entire Rainbow Spectrum of the Rays and the Blu-ray Purpose. The webinar is in the link below. So just below is in the description are the links for all of these or a way to contact me to do any type of energy work or readings. We can start with a reading. We can do energy work. And a lot of you should actually begin to get energy work. Now, I also have a live class. That is September 15th here in Chicago. It's a one-day intensive. It is up on the North Shore at a place called Infinity Foundation. Now, a lot, now a lot of people seem to be um, aware that there's going to be a whole expansion here, okay? The, the whole waves, what are the waves doing? You're, you're paving the way. You're opening doors. You're opening new levels, and you're holding it open, okay? That's a pretty big thing. You have to be in love to do that. You have, you actually need both of you to actually sustain and support that. That's another thing. What is truly sustainable for you? Are you sustaining someone else's old outdated marriage or relationship? Are you trying to mightily by, you know, white knuckling it and putting your oxygen mask on? <sighs> I'm going to get through another day with this person. Are you walking on eggshells? Are you finding that, you know, you're just, you know, is your, where do you stand with your divine marriage versus a marriage, which may be a marriage of convenience or a relationship of convenience? Okay. Where is that? And I hear some of you, you say, I don't know what the alternative is. Okay, fine. I'm going to say again, Rome wasn't built in a day. But start to find some of the ways to get yourself secure, secure, confident, and empowered through your body with the connections that you do have. Because you came here with a plan, and there is a plan. And just like these, many people, okay, some people, and some people who shall remain nameless, are going to find that you know, they're no longer dormant. But if that's your twin, you have a big part in helping them with the right wake up.
the right wake ups and the right way to connect with each other. And it's with love and it's with a lot of sentiment and it's with kissing. Okay. Please don't forget the ultimate here, which is the kissing and being with each other and what else? The making love. Because you're not going to make love at a 3D level in the same way, you know, that may have caused, you know, something to not feel right in the past. Okay. There's a new level for that. There is a new level for that. And by that, I don't mean it won't be physical. Of course, it's going to be physical. It's going to be physical. It's intended to be up close and personal and physical and intimate. And it's not a spectator show. And it is for your own union. It's for you too. So come and find out about the healing that has taken place for getting your love and abundance in place. Or check out one of these or reach out to me for some assistance. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye now. And come to Chicago or go to New York where I'm teaching a I'm not New York, California. I'm going to be getting to New York. Come to California and teaching a class at the end of October. If you're in California, I'm going to be there. So thanks again and keep the blue side up. Bye.